Control Hub provides device setting capabilities, allowing WebEx calling administrators to customize configuration options for Cisco MPP, ATA, and DECT devices. Most device settings are configurable at the organization, location, or device level, allowing an administrator to enable or disable device features and set the needed parameters. Please note, there is no device level option available for DECT devices. You can configure device settings on a location level within Control Hub. From the customer view, locate services and select calling. Next, select locations and choose the location you'd like to modify. Then click configure device settings. From the device settings page, you can toggle the use organization's default settings to apply those settings, or you can select define custom device settings. Select the device you'd like to modify, MPP, ATA, or DECT, and choose the settings override option for each. It's important to note that misconfigured devices on certain device settings could cause a loss of contact with the network, requiring you to revert your changes and do a local factory reset of the devices to bring them back online. A warning is displayed in Control Hub for these specified settings. Please note, when there's a difference between settings, the device will use the last setting sent to it. Therefore, it's best to work from the top down when configuring device settings. Start first with organization settings, then location settings, and finally, individual device settings. Once you've completed your changes, click Review Changes to review your modifications. You'll see a notice confirming the number of devices that will be affected within your organization. Once the changes start to process, you can view the progress on the Tasks page. Note, additional changes can't be made to the device settings until your current settings changes complete. Once reviewed, click Start Processing. Your settings changes will show background tasks running until your update is complete. Once the process completes, you'll need to resync the devices from Control Hub for the changes to take effect. Optionally, you can have users resync their devices from the device settings menu.